uh, uh, today we'll see how to import an uh, image into your document and how to wrap this and how to import multiple images uh, inside your document and how to uh, position it okay so for that uh, you need one you need one package that is graphics x so you can see graphic this one graphics x okay you just import this one and set your graphics path so uh, in this location my images are there okay so you can insert this way you can insert multiple uh, image location so this is one location you can insert even like this way you can import your second location okay uh, for now we are using only one location that's why uh, we are giving only one uh, path okay now i have one i have one paragraph i have uh, downloaded uh, copied from this paragraph copied from clickbus so sachin tatwar is a famous uh, uh, i know you all of you know he's the the god of cricket and uh, we want to insert uh, in our document we want to insert our uh, insert uh, our beloved sachin tendulkar uh, one uh, picture here okay now how to do this so for that uh, see uh, you import graphics as so you just have to import now include graphics see in, in Imp, uh, include graphics now you can give the name of this uh, picture so uh, in this location i have uh, such a uh, picture it's in jpg format so thankfully you don't have to give see you can see if you type here so it will come automatically so this picture i want to insert you can see here so you know here uh, the um, um, the extension of this image is, is jpeg jpeg but uh, you can ignore this uh, extension and only give the name of this file now if you insert this uh, you can see this is the first paragraph and this is the picture and this is the uh, last paragraph so paragraph picture and again paragraph now you can see this picture is very vast the pixel size is very very vast so that's why it's only have this much of uh, size in the uh, images so this is this is from the uh, beginning side so this is the width and this is the height okay so from whatever it uh, can import into the document so it's actually depicted here so uh, we can actually do one thing we can actually scale down this image so so for that you have to choose the third option key values and image file of include graphics class here in key value you can give scale so skip scale is supposed 50 percent so one percent is the whole image and i want to do the i want to scale down uh, to 50 percent so for that you have to write 0 0.5 so you can see this is the image of the Sachin Tendulkar but you can see this is actually it's like the, the so this is called actually this one is called actually text width so it it passed the text width okay only this much uh, so you, in your document you can enter only this much but it actually uh, this this many types actually it's taking a uh, larger space so how to remove these things so for that you can do one thing shortcut thing is you can scale down more okay by this way uh, but you also want uh, to in insert this image in the middle of the document so you can do centering now suppose i am doing centering you know if i do centering here you can see what problem will happen so so when i give centering my whole paragraph this paragraph image and this paragraph uh, are in the center so i don't want this kind of uh, like uh, just justify things okay so for that we can do one thing so you can actually import the begin class of uh, center yeah you can do center class you can use center class and just type this thing include graphics you can see now this picture is in the in the middle okay now suppose uh, somebody says that uh, no uh, like i don't like this this image like not this image obviously we like this image but on uh, the positioning of this image i don't like so i want to uh, do whole text width like this image will start from here and will end here okay so my the width of this image will be only this much only that much okay no less no more so for that you can ins uh, you can uh, for instead of scale you can use width so in the width you can you can see there is the four options is there so even you can give the uh, centimeter also the size of the size also but uh, we can use the text width so this is that the whole things is called text width this things is called text width 
okay the from here to here is called text width now suppose uh, i am doing text width and this is switching so you can see if i run this you can see here this is the text width okay now suppose somebody says no i want custom i want custom positioning so for that what do you have to do so for that suppose i give send four centimeter and uh, suppose uh, height is uh, height is suppose three centimeter so if i do this thing the custom positioning then you can see so this is four centimeter uh, and and in this height it will be three centimeter in the width this will be four centimeter now suppose uh, you want to insert one caption so you uh, here you want to see that figure this figure is for searching you want to write this kind of thing so for that you have to do instead of begin you can use sub figure class so for that you have to do uh, let me yeah so for that you can do uh, begin and this will be figure and this figure is nothing but yeah include graphics now instead of height and give the scale i like scale personally scale is like for me scale is actually good 0 30 percent of scale uh, 30 percent scale down my uh, the actual original images okay now you can see uh, the position you can see so if you just write if you didn't put any positioning a position uh, like you have to uh, explicitly mention the position otherwise it will just thrown to the uh, document and it will be whatever it likes it will be fetched like this way like it will be above the uh, paragraph or maybe um, maybe in the correct position or maybe below the paragraph or maybe in the next page also or maybe in the previous page also so for that you have to give the positioning so right now i'm giving ht so i'll, I'll explain what is ht and what is b actually mean now here you can see uh, uh, you can see the HOT. So uh, you can now use the centering class, centering this method. Okay. So if you use this method here, so it will not affect this two paragraph because it's inside the class. Okay. Now here you can see this is the picture of Sachin. Now you you want to give the caption. So how to give the caption? So suppose in the caption you want to say that this is Sachin Tandulkar. Okay, so this is Sachin Tendulkar you want to say. Now you can see the figure one is Sachin Tendulkar. Now suppose you want to also refer this thing. So for that you have to label the images. Okay, so always use for the figure always use fig and one colon and for the colon you give the any name. Okay, because see this is the this is the healthy approach. Okay, so fig if you are referring something tables and then always refer this uh, label this as tab colon and the table name okay so so now i i'll refer this image in a, in a, in line so uh, a picture suppose i want to write a picture of a picture of the chain is shown in uh okay this picture of such in is shown in a uh, figure now you'll refer the thing refer the this uh fig exact same name okay fix such in see fix such in fix such in now if you refer this see you can see a picture of such in is shown in figure one so this is figure one that's why it's referring figure one okay by this way you can actually uh, refer the things now suppose uh um, you want to do something more uh what something more uh, suppose you want to insert three images here instead of one you want to insert three images suppose you are working on a research project and you are you want to uh, you want to uh, like you want to put uh, three picture here suppose you are you are from maybe you are working on digital logics logics kind of things and you are uh, you want to put or gate and gate and zor gate here okay In, and here and gate or gate and zor gate here so how to do this kind of uh, centering and positioning okay so uh, for this uh, you have to import one class okay this class is nothing but uh, uh, so, uh, use package and this will be sub caption okay you want to we can do sub caption 
and inside this sub caption just remove these things and uh, do the centering so you always want to be in the center and centering and inside that you can use sub figure class so just begin with and this will be sub figure now you have to do something here b okay i'll, I'll tell what is actually h t and b means and what is the combination of h t and what is the t actually mean what is actually b means now you want to get b and here see uh, this is this is called text width and this total is 100 percent okay this total is 100 percent now if you want to insert uh, an image so you need uh, at least if you want to insert at least 33 percent of space for the second image you need 33 percent and for the third image you need 33 percent then it will be 100 percent but also you need this space here you can you have to give this space also okay you have to remember one thing so what am i am doing is the 30 30 percent of instead of 33 percent i'm using 30 percent okay 30 percent of text width i'm using okay so this is the text width 30 percent of text width i'm using for my sub figure and again i'm doing centering and uh, i'm using my include graphics key value and this will be my scale is nothing but uh, 0 0.3 30 percent and images i know that such an okay now i want to give one caption also caption oh uh, no sorry it will be caption okay caption uh search in one maybe search in one okay yeah search in one and uh, yeah and label label is fig or okay okay i'll explain why it is or okay or such in one only s one such in one now you can see if i import this you can see this is my such in okay this is my such in it's it's starting from the center because it's it is uh, centering okay that's why it start uh, start from center now i want to do one thing i want to h fill i want to insert h fill what is h fill h fill is nothing but horizontally it will import some blank spaces okay so uh, if i import some blank uh, okay just one thing 33 percent such in yeah so you we i can't actually use the scale three uh, uh 30 percent because why see so i already tell my sub figure that use the use this 33 percent as a text width okay so now this is my text width because i'm using uh, this is only my the uh, my size okay for for my figure only this much area i can use okay uh, so so for my figure this is my text width and this is my text height okay so for that i have to do width will be text width okay now why with this text width because i have 33 percent uh, sorry 30 percent of the figure size and i want to utilize all those 33 percent okay now uh, i'm using h fill h fill function will uh, here here it will fill with blank space and after that i want to insert again these things And you can see here I have two images one is Sachin and one is one well, both is Sachin okay so Sachin 1 and Sachin 2 and this one also Sachin 2 now I want to insert another three okay and you can ignore right this one so I have three images now what is H H fill actually do so H fill is actually first it gives the blank spaces to up to this much up to the whatever where the end of the text width and after that i insert this one such in so my h will become from the stretch out to stretch down okay so my h will uh, suppose uh, initially when i insert the first image now i have this much of h fill after doing h math this much of blank space is there now after that i insert the second image and it becomes like this way and this is my 
दिस इज बाई सेकेंड पिक्चर नाउ अगेन वेन आई यूज एच फिल सो वॉट एवर द साइज इज रिमेनिंग इट बिकेम द ब्लैंक पेज एंड वेन आई इंजर द थर्ड पेज नाउ इट टूक्स ऑल द इट्स टूक इट्स लाइक स्ट्रैच डाउन द स्ट्रैच डाउन द ब्लैंक पेज एंड इट इंजर्ट फ्रॉम हि फ्रॉम द राइट साइड टू द लेफ्ट साइड ओके दैट्स वाई लाइक एच फिल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है इफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क विथ इमेज फाइल एंड ऑल reposition so this is your uh, three picture so suppose you want to uh, you want to refer like you want to give one caption here so for that you can use caption uh, three pictures of the chin you can write three pictures of sachin and you can see this is 1.3 pictures of sachin okay now you want to say that uh, three pictures of sachin and you also want to refer uh, inside on this okay so refer fig for sachin with cup and refer suppose with bat i know it's not it only cup is there so you can actually change the uh, picture and suppose uh, refer fig with ball okay So you can see a one is nothing but this one. Oh, sorry, one a is this one, one b is this one, and one c is this one. So you can write this way. Okay. Now this is the section, section three. Yeah. You can see. Now suppose uh, you are working in a uh, research paper where you want to insert three different. Uh, for one plus, you want to insert three pictures. Suppose you are. Uh, suppose. Uh, you are publishing a paper regarding birds and you want to show how three different kind of parrots three different kind of pigeon and three different kind of duck okay now you want to uh, like uh, yeah, for each class for parrot class you want to uh, you know, import three images so for that you have to do only these things suppose this is the parrot class and you you have three different uh, parrot picture and just three times so One, two, three. So you have three pictures of parrots. So here it is such an I know, but yeah, you can like refer like this way. Now this and four, yeah. So for see, you can see you have. Ah, uh, so for yeah, you have. Yes. Okay. Now you can see three. Nine uniform pictures. So from each class, we you have uh, three three uh, different kind of uh, pictures. So uh, now you, if you want to give this kind of spacing, then you have to uh, you have to define here thirty uh, percent of text height. Okay, uh, text height or some kind of text height. So yeah, you can do yourself like for the height how to do like this kind of spacing. Here you can see uh, we use thirty percent instead of thirty three percent. That's why the space is big. But here the space is very less. Like this way, you, know, you can actually work. And uh, okay, uh, yeah. So this is the end of the video. And uh, you uh, learn how to import all those images, how to reposition things, how to import in group, uh, import in group. And uh, thanks, uh, th thanks once again to watch my video. And uh, if you like, like if you like the video, then please. like uh, like subscribe and uh, if you have any comment or if you want to improvise or things if you want if you want to say that uh, yeah you yeah, i can do in a better way so please comment out so i'll read and we'll uh, we'll see how to do that okay thanks thanks everyone